This week, we pulled this. What's going on, guys? This week, we are jumping into another episode of Weekly Pulls, this time again, pulling up some cards from Cardsphere.com, a really, really nice online uh, marketplace, so you can buy, sell, or trade cards there. Uh, I will say they are a tremendous group. Uh, I've worked with them in the past, and they're fantastic, and I think they have a very, very good market. Uh, and so I do recommend if you're interested in any singles or anything like that, go ahead, go check them out. Their link is down below, uh, and they really are a good group to work with, so definitely recommend them. All right, as we jump in, I, I mentioned last week I'm a huge fan of promos, and we're starting off with another promo, but I promise this is the only one this week. It is Mem Knight, the Scars of Mirrodin promo. Uh, full art version, absolutely beautiful card. If you don't know what Mem Knight is, it's part of a uh, select group of zero casting cost creatures, uh, which I think is really, really fun. It is a 1-1, and it, it's pretty basic, but it's a fun card. Uh, and these these it technically is a game day promo. Uh, they're just a really, really cool alternative version uh, of what I think to be a really really cool card so uh, excited to pick these up I'd still need two more I've got them on my want list uh, but I do really like these um, I, like I said I'm a huge fan of promos just in general uh, I've got a lot of promos on my want list so I'm hoping we'll see more and more of those come in throughout the weeks here but uh, I, I really like this one. This Mem Knight is a card I used to play with a good bit uh, for multiple reasons. I actually built a deck kind of based around Mem Knight at one point, uh, which was kind of silly, but it's fun to kind of bring back that nostalgia and, and ideally get it in this kind of premium version, which I had never had before. So really exciting. Uh, as far as price goes, uh, the market price for this is sitting right around $397, uh, and I did get two of them. Uh, and I paid about 376 so I didn't really, you know, make out a ton on this one by any means, but it's still a really cool card to have, uh, and absolutely love it. So, yeah, really like this one. Alright, next up we have a one-of from Mercadian Masks. It is the original Squee. Uh, <laughs> I love, I love Squee. Absolutely silly card. If you don't know the lore, he's kind of immortal. It's, it's a whole thing, but he's really cool. Uh, you can essentially play him from your graveyard, which is awesome. It, it just, it's a really interesting way to play, uh, especially at that time. I mean, if I can look, uh, yeah, 99 was when this card was printed. Uh, which is really cool. That's, you know, before a lot of creature-focused strategies were huge, uh, a lot of things were much more spell-based. We had a lot of just really powerful spells, and creatures weren't necessarily the highlight. Uh, and so Squee kind of represented an interesting time in that, um, you know, things were kind of not changing quite yet, but definitely kind of pushing in a different direction, which I think were was was really interesting. Now, Squee's had a number of reprints since this, uh, this printing, but... Uh, I, I've always wanted an original print, and so we did finally get one. Uh, only did get one in. I'm hoping to get another few uh, at some point here, but really excited about this one. I did pay uh, $297 for this one, and market price is actually sitting at $344. Uh, and so that's actually not too bad. I mean, it's not a huge increase, but it's something. Uh, and so I, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this one. All right, next up is the newest card on our list today, uh, and it is a Dark Slick Shores from Zendikar Rising, the Expedition series. Uh, I absolutely love the new Expedition lands. Um, now, I don't think they're as good as the original Expeditions. Uh, of course, they those were beautiful, but uh, these are really stunning as well, and I love the Hedron artwork and things like that. I think they're really special and something just really cool to collect. Uh, while I do have a number of, of Expeditions already, just from box openings and things like that, um, you know, I thought I, I, I kind of stumbled upon Dark Slick Shores and uh, I, I love these like fast lands and things like that, and so I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll put a couple on the want list and just see what we get. Uh, we did only get one, um, but that being said, it's still a really exciting one. Uh, I love these, these new expedition cards, I love the premium versions of artwork, uh, and so this is just kind of a, a fun one to pick up, and I know... Technically, I don't know if you would consider this a promo. I don't think it is, so I, I'm, I don't think I'm stumbling over words when I say I only got one promo this time, but you could kind of you, you could kind of go either way on this one. But uh, regardless, I really do love it. Uh, excited to have this one. Uh, I did pay $8.11 uh, $8 for it. It's sitting market price at $8.47. Uh, so again, not a huge increase by any means, uh, or, or decrease maybe, um, but still really happy to pick this one up. Um, I, I love this card. I think it's awesome. All right, jumping into the next one. This is actually the next two we got play sets of uh, all in one week, which is really exciting. And this one is Dawn of the Dead. 
uh, from Torment, uh, all the way back from Torment. This is a really interesting card, mostly for the artwork. It's not a super valuable card. In fact, the next one necessarily isn't really either, uh, but it's still a really interesting one, and I think it's a fun one to pick up. I think Dawn of the Dead is just a really cool, obviously, arc back to a lot of uh, cultural references, things like that, but uh, it's a really beautiful card. I think it's really cool, um, and there's not a whole lot to say here other than I just thought it would be a fun card to pick up. Uh, I like going through a lot of the older sets and kind of trying to pick up some of those old cards uh, here and there. And again, like I said, this doesn't have a ton of value, but it's just a really interesting card to play with uh, and certainly has its home in different areas. So I think that's what makes it kind of fun. Uh, and so, yeah, happy to pick this one up. Uh, and I, I, I should, I guess, let you know the price. Uh, I did pay $1.75 for it. Uh, market value is sitting at $2.27. So again, not a huge, you know, detriment there, but uh, just a just a cool card all around. All right, the uh, next to last card we have here, uh, like I said, is another playset. And actually the last card we have is a playset too. I kind of forgot about that. But uh, this one is another old card. It's Purgatory uh, from Mirage. Now this is an interesting card. I, I kind of want to read this one out. So it's two, a white and a black for an enchantment. Uh, like I said, from Mirage, whenever a summon card or a creature is put into your graveyard from play, put the card face down, or excuse me, face up under Purgatory. Uh, during your upkeep, you can pay 4 and 2 life to put any card under Purgatory into play as though it were just played. Uh, if Purgatory leaves play, remove all cards under it from the game. It's just a really thematically cool card. Uh, if you don't know what Purgatory is referencing, it's kind of the in-between of Heaven and Hell. To put it very simply, that is grossly understated, but... Uh, Purgatory just kind of plays that part perfectly. I, I mean, that's exactly what it is, and you're able to kind of pull those creatures back out of it. Uh, and I think that's really cool. I, I love what this does to the gameplay of, you know, it literally changes how the graveyard is kind of interacting with every, or how creatures are interacting with the graveyard and things like that. I just think that's so fun. Uh, the art is very old school looking and I think that's really cool as well. Um, I did pay uh, 117 for this and market price is about 196. Uh, so again, like I said, most of these cards on this list are not necessarily high value and not really, I I'm not making out a ton on them by any means, but uh, I just think that that's a really cool card and a really interesting way to play. Uh, and so I thought I'd pick up a playset. Uh, so happy all four came in. All right, guys, we saved the uh, the most valuable card for last this time around. Uh, and like I said, we did get a playset of this one as well. I think this is the most beautiful card on the list uh, that we got in this week. I also, I, I mean, I know for a fact it's the highest value card. Uh, and it is original Court of Calling from Ravnica City of Guilds. Now, Ravnica is one of my absolute favorite sets of all time, probably my favorite set of all time. Uh, for a lot of reasons. One of that is the iconic artwork, which I think this has, uh, as well as just the really interesting mechanics. Now this one has Convoke, which is kind of the Selesnia mechanic, uh, so the green-white mechanic for anyone who doesn't know, um, and it allows you to go into your deck and just tutor up a creature, which is so nice. You get to put it directly into play, like that's so cool. Uh, so any kind of tutor is going to be really exciting, but especially this artwork because this did get printings later on in life in like I believe M15 uh, and a couple other kind of offshoot sets if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and so, but but none of them featured this original artwork, and so I really thought it was going to be special to, to get that original artwork in. Uh, having collected some of the other versions, this was the only one I was really missing, and so uh, very fortunate that we were able to get a full playset of these in uh, all in one week, which is really exciting. Uh, this is the most expensive card on the list by far. Market price is sitting at about 10.25. Uh, I paid about $7.20 for it, so we actually did okay on these uh, in terms of value. Uh, and again, just one of my all-time uh, just absolutely beautiful card. The colors here are stunning, so that's pretty much it, but I'm really happy with it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Weekly Pulls. Like I said, please do go check out Cardsphere.com. They are not sponsoring this video, they are just a really nice online marketplace if you are looking to either buy, sell, or even trade cards. Uh, you can also use their services, they've got draft.cardsphere.com. Uh, so if you want to just practice draft or do something like that, you can certainly do that there as well. They've got a lot of very nice tools there for you. Uh, if you're interested in anything like that. But thank you to Cardsphere. Thank you to everybody who sent cards in this time round. And do check out our want list. I'll try and remember to link that down below. Uh, so if you're interested, you can send us something. And, you know, we'll talk about it here on Weekly Pulls. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next week.